Yo, what is happening everyone? This is Zach Bandicoot here, and I'll be reacting to uh, the latest Nintendo Direct. Uh, good friend, uh, Sonic0731, most, most of my followers know and love him. Uh, he uh, let me know on Twitter about the next Nintendo Direct. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I couldn't watch it live because I had work tonight. Or last night, morning now, whatever. <laughs> So I had to start work at 4.30 p.m. the uh, day prior. <laughs> and uh, so I couldn't watch it live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, which is my time zone. But anyway, so I just avoided all social media whatsoever. I just avoided the internet, period. I didn't even look at my phone at all during work, like during my breaks. I just resisted doing that. And when I got home and set it up, uh, I, put, I put the Nintendo Direct on Watch Later. I literally covered up like half the screen, like, no, no, don't let me see, as I clicked on the uh, uh, saved or the watch later list. And yeah, uh, so we're finally getting a Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Think about that Pokemon reference in Pokemon X and Y. It's been 10,000 years! <laughs> anyway, uh, so hopefully we get some cool games announced. Uh, maybe we'll finally get a trailer of like Metro Prime 4. Um, Maybe a Super Mario Odyssey sequel. Maybe 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 we'll get surprised that the Breath of the Wild sequel uh, will be released sometime this year. Uh, we'll see. The biggest thing, though, for me, is next character reveal. And, well, as you can probably guess, but before my boy Crash... Whoa! Come on. One sec, right? Put in Crash Bandicoot, please! Ugh. Which I think they could put in another Western platformer since the third one essentially for the last uh, a fighter pass was a platformer, Banjo Kazooie. Maybe they'll stake a system with that, so Or it could be Rayman. <laughs> we'll see. But there's a few characters I'm hoping for. Maybe like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, uh but you know what? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna throw a tantrum on Twitter if it's not who I want. More characters and more characters. There's already like eighty plus characters, but we'll see. This would be great timing. You know, like Crash comes out for the Crash Four comes out for the Switch like next month. I mean, I feel like this would be the time it would be now. If he's not, like, if he doesn't make it in now, I don't think he ever will. <laughs> anyway, let's get right to it. All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, what are we opening with? What are we opening? Not actual gameplay footage. <laughs> the next Xenoblade Chronicles? Yeah. One day, Kyra just disappeared. Just don't tell me he's being added to Smash. Please don't tell me. What's he saying? I don't know. There's no words coming out of him. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere. Help! We're all mute now. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you. Whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Don't tell me sh Oh no. I got an invitation to join Smash! Another sword fighter from Xenoblade Chronicles. Okay. Smash player. Power to 
Two back to back sword fighters. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. There are no pushovers. Oh well. Crash is not gonna be in. <laughs> Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. Yeah. <laughs> An echo fighter, huh? Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on the Gee, I feel kinda bad now. Coming through! Uh, I mean the thing is, it's very popular in Japan. I mean you gotta figure obviously Japan audience where Sakurai is from and you know, where Nintendo headquarters is. You would think. So obviously they get priority for what's popular there over here in the West. Uh, I mean, the character looks fun. Yeah, not be doing a gameplay impression vid. Um, I like there's already a spear. There's already a spirit for that character. But I guess that proves that there's already a spirit, or you know, it doesn't disqualify them from being added to the game. Eh. Again, this shit looks fun. Again, I'm not gonna throw a tantrum, you know, on Twitter or anything. <laughs> I knew they would come right out of the gate with a reveal for Smash DLC. Never expected to see you two again. Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. <laughs> forget. We're fighters too! Ah, uh, Zenbei Chronicles 2, huh? Minasan. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. It's okay. Uh, I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. <sighs> Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. All right, now some cool stuff now. We appreciate your continued support. Rest in peace, Crash Chances okay. to be in Smash. What you just saw was the reveal trailer mm. for the newest fighter in the Super What you just Smash saw was a character game. nobody asked for in the game. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing okay, sorry, sorry. in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This I'm done with the salt. <laughs> in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, if we got some other news, that'll excite me. The game's coming out. Fall Guys on Switch. Makes sense. Scotty is on my desk. Ah, my computer, dude, get off. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, summer 2021. <laughs> Fall Guys on the go, just you makes sense. 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. 22 minutes? Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode. Well, that's not a lot of time. Will be annihilated. However, 
everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, <laughs> you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? It sounds like you're being interrupted you real fast. Oh exploring. man, look at this cool planet! And oh, in an endless <laughs> time loop. Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. <laughs> Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, hmm. drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. This is interesting. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve Is this being about the same people who did the Phoenix Wright, the uh, Phoenix Wright Attorney games? Dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only like, It just reminds me of that, the whole, like, layout of it. Scotty, stop. Come on, dude. Get down. No, get down. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these <sighs> chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too yeah, late? Yeah, it reminds me of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir <laughs> and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. So far, I am just not super excited about the new anything. Age of battles begins. Still pretty early into this, so I'll put in description the times where I was actually excited about something. Dynasty Warriors? Ooh, talking smack. Oh, Samurai Warriors 5. Huh. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying one Yeah, that's what I noticed. Now when they're doing ports, they seem to be putting like a cell shading to it. So, so it doesn't look too much like a downgrade from like the other systems. Which they're doing the same thing with uh, Crash 4 that's going to release on the Switch. Rather than downgrade the visuals, they're kind of giving like a... Well, it's still a downgrade, but they're giving like the cell shading to still make it look really nice. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, disappointment, and disappointment, other lands to disappointment. Life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th.
much to honor. Yeah, I've never played their Monster Hunter uh, series. Warriors. It's an armadillo. Dragon thing that shoots mud at you. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally. Hey, it's Strider. Go assemble the villagers. <laughs> Sorry, now that ninja guy looked like Strider from those uh by the rampage and from that uh from that old ninja game. Devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face the biggest challenge yet! No! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! You listen to me now! <laughs> Here it comes! Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! That's a diabat! Like a regular bear, only dire. Noah, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity. Oh, don't worry. Some random character from Masha Hunter will be the next DLC character. More sword fighters. Uh, I know I can't. I'm trying to stop with the salt, but was the latest just can't right now. Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. Uh, hey, from work. It's 4:30 in the morning. I'm tired. Latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March Please don't excite me. Next, please take a look at this. Something good, please. The fairway is open once again. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf! Sorry. <laughs> Starting with wind and terrain. Uh, your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing uh, with familiar uh, Mushroom Kingdom characters. On course I'm, I'm sure the game is fun. Natural yeah. scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. I'm about to fall asleep. I'm going to wake up and be like, whoa, well, I just filmed an uh, eight hour long video. By holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. Letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this mm. one, Speed Golf. Here, it's all. No, I mean this, was, this looks like it could be Everyone fun. Tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Like if I like if I get an official trailer for like Metro Prime 4 or or in this direct uh, saying that Breath of the Wild sequel will be out like this year, this will literally be all be worth it. As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with still got a bit to go, so matches. we will see. Then allocate points to different stats. Allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings on to Nintendo Switch June 25th. Go we put an actual exciting announcement. After this presentation. The 
The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Oh, geez, I thought they were going to talk about this game for way Let's too long. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. More Check out stuff you don't care about. Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey, Reese, mm. and the quick-witted con artist, Fiona, as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch mm. when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Oh, that's cool. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by Who? turning humans into your undead Who owl. remembers Punish this game? Arsenal. I mean, I do, I, but I guess there's my question mission. there. But I mean, this city ain't no match for a dead man. Was this that much really in demand? This game never even got a sequel. Touchdown versus assassins. There we go. Aliens. Wait, what? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament. Next, no more heroes, baby. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay Yes, it's just like the other games. All right, finally. Something good. It's the good. Next, no more heroes, baby. Oh, I got to stream the other games on my channel. Don't no worry here. It's such a unique game. An improved death glove. You'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. Wait, is this still going to be a mature rated game? Or are they going to just... That you can kick. Anyway, Are you kidding me? It all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. I mean, is it still going to be a violent M rated game like the other ones, though? Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Demons in heaven. <laughs> Lucifer in hell right now. Oh, hello? Oh, hi, God. Oh, uh... But a demon's heaven? Oh, uh... I don't know anything about that. Um... I'm sorry. Gee, how did those get there? <sighs> There's no more Heroes 3, which I'm looking forward to. Coming to Nintendo Switch. But I already knew that was coming out, so again, not uh, not a surprise. Just not the DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. DC Superhero Girls, all oh, this is the best news of the entire Nintendo Direct. <laughs> This girl. is she's super strong and has heat vision. Uh... And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Look, 
I know, don't complain on Twitter about the direct, but I mean, how many people care about this? I know it's a popular kids show on, uh, um, Cartoon Network? What's this? Oh, maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Uh, hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. I was gonna edit this video post, down, but no. Answer, no matter what. Everyone will see make sure no one my entire suffering this, through this video. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Thanks for the zombies. Yep. <laughs> I enjoyed playing it on mobile. <laughs> The, the original one. Hmm? Looks like there's an actual campaign. Levels, bosses, huh? Hmm. <laughs> that looks interesting. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Band together on a quest to face evil oh, and save I'm back. faces. <laughs> Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yay. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make mm. someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. Mm. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bond. <sighs> this can give you an advantage during battle. Mm. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! I have a feeling have a horse as an we'll get actual, like, probably exciting announcement. And it'll lend a hand I like the very end of the video. Venture with friends and like, it makes sense they would come right out of the gate with that Utopia. Smash Brothers DLC announcement. Switch, May 21st. Just... Begin today <sighs> on Nintendo e -Shop. So far... Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm bringing the salt. I don't care. So far, this has been the worst Nintendo Direct ever. Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block. Like majority of this is stuff they could have just tweeted about or just put out a trailer for. Not have this entire like direct over it. You can also place two warp pipes. I mean, that's pretty cool. Animal Crossing, getting the. uh that uh, Mario DLC thing. I'm definitely gonna have to stream to that. Travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? That is pretty cool. That that is a real. That's a pretty cool addition. A to add. The game launches February 25th. After downloading it, nice. Super Mario Brothers items will be available via <laughs> Nook Shop. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Keep wow, sounds like a fantastic update Twitter for Animal Crossing. Information.
We hope you continue I'm enjoying holding on hope that they announce a more ex another character just throw us this uh, throw us that? a curveball through a loop, and it's an exciting one. Will be released as part of the Super Mario uh, There's only two more left now, events. which I longer for their release. I don't have a lot of faith Speaking that it's going to be anyone really exciting. Last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Mm -hmm. Next, we have another game to show you. for its crimes today are these the wages of loyalty raised earth and burnt corpses <sighs> you and no other must decide how so we got proceed. a little more time maybe something exciting and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest together with these fields today you burn <laughs> I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Far, far away uh. lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations... Oh, there's salt, the all right. Plenty, eventually plenty of salt. Known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> Though the hostilities <laughs> ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all the uh, oh, war has broke out after this super, super lame Nintendo Direct. A brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! In this new tactical RPG, <sighs> takes place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack oh my goodness, I don't want to hear more about this game. Weapon. Okay. Can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long range Please spend the rest of the direct just talking about this game. Your forces can use the terrain yeah, I'm sure it's a fun game. There's people who like this. I uh, who like these kind of games. Susceptible not only yeah, it might be a fire attack, emblem. So it looks fun. Blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack <laughs> we win link attacks together by first casting mm. ice magic on the flames to create water terrain then electrify the area with lightning magic <laughs> it is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield hey, it's a pigiotto Throughout the story, oh my God. you will be faced All right, you know what? important decisions in a variety Yeah, of I don't care. I, I am skipping this. I just, I'm sorry. I just don't Utility, care enough. Morality, liberty. Collectively. Okay. Project Triangle Interesting. Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo please look, version of this please game look at more Nintendo Directs Nintendo e so we can talk about this game for another 15 minutes in each one. We look forward to hearing your <sighs> responses on the demo. Uh, please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Ooh, something Star Wars.
Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes six and seven. Huh. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Right, now that I would have liked to see a little more on. <laughs> Unlike that other game. You or the camera? Knockout City interviews. Huh. Take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown? I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> <laughs> a swear word. And Nintendo. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. For survival starts now. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Dongan Rampa and It's Zero anime Saul. I want to play a game. Life, literally disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park. The twelve of you, mm. known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. <laughs> Sorry to scare you all, but The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Mm. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. Be the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome it's challenges. It's always terribly dubbed voice acting. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. I mean, this is interesting, sure. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Oh yeah, Hades. Hades the this was nominated for Game of the Year. And recipient of multiple Game of the Year. Yeah, I get this try. I, got, I hear good things about this. On Nintendo Switch, this version comes with a couple of extras mm -hmm. to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium. I'm going to give this game a try. It looks pretty cool. Of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with yeah. a compelling story. Escape the underworld again or for the first time with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ooh, Ninja Gaiden Collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Hmm. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I can almost guarantee Ninja Gaiden is going to make it as a character you in Smash Brothers Ultimate. I mean, which will make sense. This will be pretty cool. 
wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, <laughs> along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. <laughs> Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Nice. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Yeah, well, those characters are from Dead or Alive. The intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Oh, I haven't played that yet. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. I'm not, I'm not too big on the turn-based A new trailer RPGs. for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. What? As the Brave Knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the Demon Realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Our new Ghosts and Goblins? With one of okay, all right now. Barry for defense, carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection <gasps> launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo oh. eShop. Is it only on eShop? Eight protagonists. Okay, eight that, that journeys. sounds pretty cool. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. Hmm, Apex Legends Battle on the Switch. Features Pretty cool. a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit not great. more to show you in today's Certainly not direct, great. So we not hope you stick hurt. with us. Next, please take a look at this. <sighs> Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. But there's not. We don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, flip us the bird, why don't you? We'll be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Wait, what? 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 Huh? 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 Sword? Coming to the Switch? I never got to finish Skyward Sword. Uh, uh. 
Or I guess I never got around to finishing that. I mean, on the uh, on the uh, on the on the Wii. Okay. I was so in HD. What you've just seen is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword hey, buddy. featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Ooh. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. I have a reason to use Joy-Con controllers. Swing his sword Finally! Game. I finally have a reason to use the Joy-Con controllers. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield. Yes, to block please. Enemy attacks. Yes, yes, please. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow mm -hmm. and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. <laughs> Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. This sounds swing great. To the right. I to will the be streaming. I'm pre-ordering this. I will be streaming this. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Yes, yes, and yes. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. I'm getting those. The Legend of Zelda. Call me a sucker. I'm getting those. I don't care. I'm getting those. Story in the Legend nope. of Zelda I'm buying those. Details. I don't care. Around the creation of the Master Sword itself. I don't care. I'm getting those. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy. Thank you. The Something of the exciting for once. I mean, finally in this. In this, uh, in this Legend direct. Of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Oh, I want direct, it now. Sure pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will Gotta launch wait, the game's release date July. to local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave oh, a glimpse yeah. into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, oh, yeah. and the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Oh, definitely. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Oh man, can't wait till July. Oh well. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Nice. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. It's not gonna be as exciting as that. An inkling. What's this? This is a new, uh, this is a new Splatoon? A new Splatoon game? They're making like a Splatoon RPG kind of game? Interesting. Alright, alright now. It's like a 
kind of post apocalyptic Mad Max uh, mixed with Splatoon. <laughs> Alright, this looks cool. Platoon 3, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Anybody who wants to play some Splatoon 3 with me when this comes out. Not until 2022. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. One more surprise announcement. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. All right, I guess that's it. Yep. Indeed, that is it. All righty then. Oh, been a long one, I realize. Well, that's my reaction commentary on uh, Nintendo Direct. There's quite a bit of salt throughout. Uh, see, I'm a Chronicle character. I guess it makes sense. Popular in Japan, but it's one of great timing for Crash. Rest in peace, Crash. Chances two more characters left. I doubt it. I think uh, I think Ryo Ibusa Ninja Gaiden is gonna be probably the next character. And um, I don't know. Or probably just get two more characters. No one asked for. But you know what? Plenty of great characters already added to Smash. So, whatever. Yeah, I'm not going to throw a tantrum on Twitter. <laughs> or or anything. Alright. Yeah. Uh, but still, I got some exciting news. Skyward Sword HD. Yes, they're doing it. I'm excited because uh, for some reason I just never got around to completing that game. On, uh, on the Wii. I just... I don't know, other stuff came out, I just kind of forgot about it, I don't know. Uh, but this is great. I, I, I seriously cannot wait to stream that. I gotta wait all the way to summer. July. Come on. Still, uh, very much looking forward to that. A new Ghosts and Goblins is announced, that's pretty cool. Splatoon 3, that that is awesome. Uh, so, at least there was some exciting news in the mix. Uh, yeah, well... Anyway, it's been my reaction. It's been my reaction to. Uh, been my reaction to. Yeah, commentary on uh, Tano Direct. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's a bit of a long video, but thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> well, anyway, this is Zach Bianacoop. And, uh. And, uh, be sure to make Ghost of Tsushima this Friday night. And uh, I'm not sure Saturday. I'll keep posting on Twitter. Follow me there. 
And, uh, well, next time is Exact Manicude, and whoa! See y'all next time. If we're in too disappointed. That was the wrong one. <laughs>